Hello out there all you music lovers. This is Rob. In today's video I'm going to cover a very basic topic and that topic is what is a digital audio workstation or DAW and why do people make music in computers? Well the answer is very simple. Everything can be done virtually. Everything can be done in a software environment. You're looking at Logic Pro 10 and this is a digital audio workstation produced by Apple and it uh, all it, any digital audio workstation is any DAW all that you're really talking about is a matrix where you plug things in and give instructions tell the computer through this software what to play and when to play it okay and so uh, I'm not going to go through all the buttons. I'm just going to dig right in. Uh, what you're seeing right here highlighted is an instrument track. And so this is a channel, like in a big amplifier desk, like you see in a recording studio. I've only got one created right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a, uh, let's see here, ESX24. I'm going to plug in a sampler instrument that plays real sounds. Okay, let's pick the Yamaha Grand Piano. Adjust the volume going into the channel. On at about 9 or 10. Alright, there's pretty good. Okay, so we're ready to play. Actually, that is pretty loud. I must have... Uh, Okay, that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to start and set my metronome, which is basically something to help me keep time to. And I'm just going to play something here. And voila, that's it. I mean, Logic has created an instrument track for me. And what this is, I'll double click it. These are musical notes, okay? All this is, is a representation of musical notes just like a player piano. In fact, they call it the piano roll, okay? And since I'm in a virtual reality world, I can pick all of these and you can see the uh, where the notes were supposed to play and I'm a little bit off. I can select all of these with a key command that I'm not gonna really get into today and quantize them make them match the beat so they're right on the beat. Then I'm going to select all of them, make them all the same length, except this last one, I want it to be a little bit longer. Okay. Then I'm going to loop this passage of music out to eight bars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's see what we got. Oh, and I'm also going to loop it. Okay, so I'm going to now speed up the tempo to 130. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we need some rhythm. So let's create the with a plus. Just click in Logic. You just hit the plus sign here. And let's create another software instrument. And in this EXX24, I have some sample libraries loaded, and I have some kicks. So now I've selected this bank of kicks, so my keyboard that I have here in front of me in my studio, it's all just a, a bunch of clip, uh, kicks. Every note's a, a kick. That's a pretty good one, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this to where it's about six going into the channel strip or no, about nine to 10. That's pretty good right there. 
then I'm going to adjust it down on the output to where it's going out at about uh, minus six here just to balance things out here a little bit probably was already there so kind of wasting your time and mine okay so now I'm just gonna start over again hit record now there is a uh, kick drum on every beat select them all quantize them they're on the grid loop uh, <clears throat> loop them all out Now I want to add another instrument, so let's add another software instrument. And I happen to have a bunch of claps built into the ESX24, which is a this is a plug-in. I plugged it right, I'm plugging it right into each one of these channel strips, and it feeds the signal into this channel strip, and you can turn it up and turn it down. And so to pick whichever one you want to work on, you just pick it. So I'm going to go pick some claps here. Okay, let's pick uh, some claps here. Let's see here. That's a pretty good one. I can play two, two at a time if I want. Let's just go like this here. I'm going to play it on the offbeat. Here we go. Now you can see how far off I was there. So let's see if we can get it back on the grid. That one didn't go back on the grid. <laughs> I was too far off. Computer thought I wanted to play it uh, even later. Okay. Okay, so we got a basic groove here. But I want... This is kind of a... Uh, this is kind of a progressive house sounding kind of motif here. And in fact, I think there's already a song out there that has this motif. So uh, I want to change the sound. So I'm going to pick a synthesizer, one of the most popular synthesizers in the world, which is called Silent. And the synthesizer is a uh, piece of, now this is a software plugin. It's a device that creates sound based on electric signals, electric waves, okay? And so without getting into all that, I'm gonna pick, I have a bunch of sounds that are pre-made by other producers in here. So I'm gonna open a bank. I'm gonna pick a Sunny Lax bank. Sunny Lax is the famous Anjuna Beats uh, producer. And then so now, I'm gonna pick a pluck here, let's see. not bad. That one's not bad. It's got quite a bit of uh, uh, reverb on there. I'm going to turn that down. See how that sounds. Maybe turn the resonance down a little bit. That's what gives it that ow, ow, ow sound. Okay. Now I need to turn this down. If you uh, are working in a DAW, get in the habit of turning down when you first uh, open a new sound, a new track, turn it down at the source of this, uh, at the master volume of the uh, device that's making the sound. OK, 
Okay, so let's pick, let's, uh, let's make something else. Okay, let's add another software instrument. Let's go, let's go back to the uh, ESX24 stereo. And let's go to uh, synthesizers, synth strings. I like these Solina strings. And okay, here we go. quantize them. Okay. Let's shorten it up. Let's loop it. Let's even all these out. Now I'm going to do some a uh, couple things. I'm going to get this You know what? I don't like that. Uh, I don't like that patch. So I'm going to go up here to one of these here. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm liking that. Now I want to push these strings way into the background. So what I can do is I can pick a uh, graphic equalizer and cut, cut away a lot of the highs. This is just like a regular graphic equalizer, but everything is uh, representative in a, is represented in a smooth curve like this. Now you can see it sounds off even more off in the distance. And now I'm going to add a reverb. Let's go to a chroma verb here. And this is kind of like echo or like a big, pick a big stadium or hall to put the sound in. Let's pick a hall. Let's pick a uh, concert hall. Let's make it big. And turn the dry up here and let's see what we got here. Now, when I pull the dry back, it's going to uh, make it sound even further away. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put in a auxiliary volume plug-in because I want to turn it down before it enters any other plug-ins. Okay, that's pretty good right there. I'm going to adjust everything, turn everything down. Turn the strings way down. But you can see where we're getting here. And this is why people use uh, DAWs. And uh, let's try one more thing here. Let's uh, create another uh, software instrument. 
and I'm going to uh, pick a Ultra Beat. This is a drum machine that comes free in Logic. I'm going to pick a uh, set that uh, allows me to just a preset that allows me to just drag and drop samples. So I'm going to load a sample, which pulls up the ability for me to choose. And I'm going to go in here to library samples. Uh, let's go here. I'm going to pick a hi hat, closed hat. And let's just start playing these, see which one we like. That one's pretty good. Let's just open that one up. Okay. Turn that one down about 6 dB. And, oops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Create empty MIDI region. Now this is a MIDI region, and I double click it. Remember again, and then it's C1. That's going to be the sound that we just. Uh, why is it doing that? Okay. So, okay. So what I want to do is, well, it's not going to let me do it. Okay, can't believe it. Okay. Pencil tool, come in here and you draw in. That's up. You draw it on the right where you want it. We're going to go to sixteenths. Let's get it up here out of the way. See if that's right. Okay, that is. Let's get the brush tool. Let's see if uh, this brush tool will work. Yep. Got to have a steady hand, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, I want to select them all. I want to kind of zoom in a little bit on them. I want to shorten them down a little bit. Then I want to apply some swing. Now listen, here's another thing that uh, a DAW will do for you. That's just kind of like machine gun. But I'm going to uh, add some swing. What that does, it kind of adds a little bit of a shuffle. Let's add a little bit more. Let's see, let's go to C swing. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. And we're going to add a little bit of a pulse to that by uh, adding a, let's see, yeah, here it is right here. This will modulate the volume of those. So now you got yourself a little bit of groove, okay? You need to come way down. So let's, uh, and we can just keep going on. I mean, this is uh, really, really rough right here so far. But you can see uh, basically what a DAW will do for you. It gives you total control. Now, this thing is just really bugging me. Okay. I'm going to create a base line for this. And I'm going to duplicate that synthesizer, which was the pluck synthesizer. I'm going to drag this down, drag the musical part down, open it up, and get rid of all of the top notes. Get rid of all the top notes. I just want the bass notes, select all of those, bring them down an octave. Let's 
see, so now it's starting to sound a little bit like a record. But one of the things that uh, you want to do is up here, you take another EQ on your plucks, the musical plucks here. You'll see here there's a lot of low end information down here. Just cut it away. That allows room for the bass, which you come in here and you don't want to cut all of it because it sounds pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of this one so I don't confuse you. Here's the bass. Let's get rid of the high sizzle, uh, fizzy stuff. Now this sample right here, uh, it's a little bit too clicky. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just a matter of artistic preference. To me, that's a little bit too clicky. So, so what I might do with that is just uh, use a, uh, something to spread it out to the sides here. And what this does, it delays, it's a stereo signal And it, I can delay the left from the right, which will make it appear to spread out. Okay. Maybe let's just go with uh, a swing. D swing. <laughs> I'm just not liking that, but. All right, so moving on here, uh, I'm going to create one more software instrument. That's going to be another Alter Beat, another drag and drop sample. Let's go up here and preset that allows me to drag and drop samples. And let's go to uh, sample library. Hi hats open. That's pretty good. I like that one. Let's open that one up. And what I want to do with that one is just on the offbeat. Need to turn that down. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's see how I did here. Not too bad. Let's quantize it. Actually, you don't need to make the note that long because it's uh, it's on retrigger. Okay. Okay, now what you want to go in and do once you get kind of a basic idea in your DAW. Uh, let's go in here to these claps and uh, let's brighten them up. Let's get rid of a lot of the mud that a lot of the claps have. Don't need that part. And then maybe add a little bit of the sizzle. And then this right here, we can do a little EQ in here too, because I think, yeah. So, that, uh, let's add a little distortion to that clap. Okay, so I'm going to add, uh, let's just go with soft tube, saturation knob. This will add, uh, musical harmonic distortion. Okay, so that brought that right out without really bringing the level up to where it blows your speakers out. And I think that that, 
this open hat. Might need a little space to live in. So let's go with a uh, reverb, chroma verb. And let's just, let's see where we're at. Well, that's okay. Let's just get a room or let's get a chamber, drum chamber. Not very much decay. Let's keep that there for right now. So you, you got a little bit of a room that it's living in here. See how it sounds. Okay. Maybe do the same thing to that. Let's add, uh, in fact, let's just do this. I can drag that uh, chroma verb over to the uh, copy the exact same setting and see how that sounds okay okay and so we've got a, a basic idea here so let's make this sound loud okay so let's add a go in here to dynamics let's add a limiter and a limiter what it does is it compresses all the highest loudest parts of a sound and turns them down while simultaneously turning everything else that's not loud up. So it increases your perceived loudness. Now watch what this does. All right, so now with that turned up like that, I can see that I need to uh, add a little bit of a pulse here with the uh, pad, the, the string sound. So let's do that. Let's make them kind of pulse. Okay, so obviously this would be a situation where you're just doodling once you get you know, your feet wet and you know how a DAW works. Uh, you can then uh, mix this and make it sound more and more polished and get it down to where it sounds, starts sounding pretty good. And I can tell you right now, those strings, that hat, uh, off hat, or off uh, high hat. Okay, so that's the basic idea. That's how a DAW, DAW works. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, or whatever, just uh, make a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, this is basically how it works. And you'll see that each one of these channels is doing something different. And so if you go in here and you mute all of these, then you, you start with the... Uh, pluck un um, I have to just start with the plug and you start adding parts Okay, so that's it. Uh, you kind of got your feet wet. For those of you who have never used a computer to make music, that's how it's done. That's how easy it is. Uh, I'm kind of up on a stage here when I'm making a video, so I uh, kind of had a few hiccups there. But uh, we got it figured out, and uh, I hope you kind of got 
you're able to now wrap your mind around how a DEW works. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and like button. And uh, that way you'll be notified for the next one. And uh, thank you very much for watching.